Hi, good morning. Today's exercise is to do one of the questions in the 2016 paper 31 um, technical drawing exam. Now, for those who are familiar, especially those who live in the Caribbean, this is typically what um, was originally called CXC and now we call it CSEC or the Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate Examination. Um, we're going to attempt to do one question. It's going to be broken up in a few components. Um, I'm trying to make this as simple as possible and in layman terms. For new beginners of AutoCAD, uh, we'll be using AutoCAD 2016, but you could use any earlier versions. All your versions, they basically have the same menu types and same uh, graphic user interface except before 2010 i think they had the older um, menu settings or the more classic autocad settings <clears throat> um the question we're going to attempt is question one is that we're going to create a, a working drawing all right back to it um right so basically the question number one um, gives us a description um, of the floor plan, which is a performing art studios. Um, you will see the plan just now on figure one on page seven. The performing art studios to be built. Oops. The performing art studios to be built using both masonry and timber construction. The dance floor area is to be constructed of hardwood, while the rest of the floor is to be done using ceramic tiles on reinforced concrete construction. The roof design is indicated on the drawing. Um, the access to draw to a specific scale, 1 to 50, using appropriate conventions or working drawing floor plan of the studio. The drawing should include internal and external walls, windows and doors, bathroom fixtures, reception desk and locker cupboards. <coughs> um, we have to name all of the rooms and then we have to also um, add some annotations in terms of the dimensions. Um, they want us to do all the dimensions, which is overall dimensions, room dimensions, openings, and wall changes in directions. Uh, and then on page 6, they give us some specifications for each element, like the walls. They have the external and internal walls, 150 millimeters and 100 millimeters, respectively. We have columns, 300 by 300, doors, three type of doors, three type of windows, information on the roof, information on the floor. And that's what we just, uh, generally will concern ourselves with because everything else, uh, we're not drawing a foundation plan, that's one. And two, we're not drawing any type of elevation or section view. So all we're concerning ourselves is with a plan view for now. All right, so let's get to it. Um, open up AutoCAD. Now, if you open AutoCAD and they ask you um, which which um, units you want to work with, I would suggest that you pick metric. Um, but if you didn't and you're not sure what units you're working with, just type U, N, which is short for units, enter, and ensure that the insertion scale is set in millimeters. Right? So the first thing we're going to do is set up the layers. It's always important to set up the layers because um, that way when you're creating different views, you could hide certain things um, and you can select certain things, you can freeze certain things. For now, we're just going to create layers of the different elements in the building. So type, um, click on layer properties, <coughs> uh, go to all new is new layer or this icon here, just click on it. And we'll type A is for architectural, and we'll just type D O O R. And we give that a color. I'll give it a color of magenta. And we do the windows A dash G L A Z, short for with, um, glazing, which is windows. Give it a, a nice cyan color. How about the walls? We have to do the walls, right? So there are two types of walls. So A dash wall dash internal 
interior. I will give that a nice gray, light gray number nine color. And the other one will be a dash wall dash extr, just for exterior. I will give that a uh, uh, gold white. But we will change the line weight to 0 0.25 for both walls. What else? Um, what about uh, what about annotations? So A dash A N N O. No, annotations are elements that are not part of the building. For example, dimensions, text, legends, schedule, uh, section, uh, symbols, anything like that. So, I know, and your first one is dims. You know that red? That will be red. Oops. Well, let's change that back to zero. <clears throat> um, what else? We could also do text a dash anon dash text and change that color to yellow. We do another one for the identifying the areas. So a dash area dash i d e n. We leave it as yellow. And what else we can have? We have um. We have the doors, we have the, oh, we have to do the floor, though there are different type of floors. So the A dash floor patterns. And we change that color to a light gray. And we also have the wall patterns, A dash wall patterns. So we keep the same color. Um, <clears throat> we have the roof. Which is our overhead annotation. So A dash roof. A dash roof. Dash outline. So just be an outline of the roof. We'll give that <coughs> magenta. But we will change the line type from continuous. So we're loading a dash space. We use a three W hundred. Select that one. Exterior. Exterior. Uh, I wanted the wall exterior to be white, <coughs> and the interior to be. Sort of gray, right? Um, we have also furniture. So, furniture is really a function of interior. So, call it I dash furniture, and we will give that probably. Whatever color that is. Um, what else we have inside? We have furniture, we have um, cabinetry. So we create our next one. I dash fern. The I stands for interior. Um, case. So we have I dash. Chair. We'll have some chairs in there. Um, what else? We have some plumbing stuff to deal with, like the sinks, 
the toilets so let's see if we could do some layers for that um, so plumbing obviously will be P so be P dash um, for the toilets will be fixed here so F I X T cancel and that fixture we will give it a color of green so we have that we have the sinks sanitary equipment da, 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 da. and last but not least we have the columns which are structural so s dash c o l and i'll give it a yellow color um the thickness of these could be zero So, so far so good if we forgot any layers we will just add it in as we go along um, so I want to um, stop right here and then we'll move on to we'll move on to creating the walls for the next video hi right, thank you and don't forget to subscribe bye